Hi guys, so in today's Even Knows YouTube video, I wanted to talk to you about a program that I have been using for a good couple of years now. And personally, it's my favorite graphic design program to use. I know there are so many others out there that are absolutely wonderful. And of course, always feel free to go for whichever design software that you prefer to use. But just as someone who really loves using Canva, I just wanted to talk about my experience using them and also kind of whether I would recommend them and show you you some of the things that I use Canva for. So if you don't know anything about me and my YouTube channel and things like that, then you might not know what I do is I build online businesses and I absolutely love in particular building digital product and passive income or low maintenance online businesses. I have a couple of them. I have an Etsy shop. I have a course. I have eBooks. I have affiliate income. I'm sure I'm missing quite a few other ones that I have, but I just absolutely love it. And I'm super, super grateful that I'm able to make my full-time income from creating these businesses and running them and building them. But because the majority of what I do when it comes to my businesses is based online and the majority of the products I create are digital products, then I always need to have a really good graphic design program that I feel comfortable using. And I did give a number of different ones a go. I do also like to use a little bit of Photoshop and there are obviously lots of different ones out there. I'll definitely link some below that you can feel free to check out. But in the end, I decided that Canva was the one for me. And I have been using Canva, like I said, probably for a couple of years now. And I use the Canva Pro, which is the the um, paid version but you can use Canva for free if you want to or you can give the Canva Pro version a try if you want to. Canva does a 30 day free trial so you can definitely just check it out and see if you like all the extra features. I'm not going to like list off all the extra features that you get because I'm actually going to go in and show you what my Canva Pro kind of desktop looks like in a second um, and kind of show you some of the things that I use in there and some of the products and you know, projects that I do in there. I actually have the link to Canva in the description box below. So if you want to check it out, you can just click on it as well. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just kind of give you a bit of a behind the scenes and a little bit of a review of Canva and how I've used it over the last couple of years to effectively help me create over a hundred thousand dollars in income from my businesses over the last few years. Probably actually, to be honest, it's more than that. Um, and I definitely credit Canva to really enabling me and helping me to do that because it just makes creating digital products and creating marketing material and all the different graphic elements that I need for my businesses so much easier. So yeah, I just thought I'd wanna give you a bit of a sneak peek behind the scene. So this is my dashboard that I have. In a minute, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I use it for, but be aware I have been using Canva for quite a while. So I've built up quite an inventory of my own designs and things that I have have created but I just wanted to give you an idea of what you can kind of find on the dashboard so Canva is really really great because they offer so many templates templates for so many different things you've got Instagram posts stories you've just got like a simple a4 document logos posters honestly it goes on and on and on there are so many different things that you can use this for and I have personally used it for so many different products I've created and also obviously like marketing material and things I've created. Um, and then if I just scroll down, you can kind of see that inside, for example, if you wanted to create an Instagram post, you've got so many different templates. This just keeps going on and on. Um, it just keeps going that you can choose from and then you can play with all the elements inside of there and you can really just create a custom, for example, Instagram post or Facebook post or logo or you can use, for example, the poster dimensions to create things like art printables and things like that. Um, I do actually have a video where I show you how I personally create art printables using Canva, so hopefully I'll link that for you as well. Um, but there's just so many different things. Canva's been adding some really fun like anime elements to them and just for example to really give your social media or your blog or your website just real punch and that's something I've really really enjoyed about Canva they continue to grow and expand you know really fast I think and um, but yeah I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. So you have here your recommended view. This is kind of what I tend to think of as like my dashboard. It has not only ideas of templates and things, but it also has just 
an easy access to my own designs that I've created. And then you can click down to all your designs, which I'll go into in a minute. Um, then you also have some additional features. I don't use all of these. You can create teams. They even have a new content planner, which I'm definitely in the process of playing around with. And I'm gonna definitely keep you guys updated and probably create a video if I do really enjoy that fairly new feature. You've got your brand kit as well, which is a place that you can add your brand colors, your fonts, you can upload um, fonts that you've purchased as well, which is a really great element, especially if you're creating things like um, digital products and art printables, then you can actually upload different fonts and things that you've purchased yourself. Um, and then you have all your folders as well. You also have a shared with you feature, which I don't personally use, so I'm not really gonna talk about here because it's not something that I have a lot of experience in. But the majority of what I use Canva for is to help me create my digital products. And I keep saying it over again, but also it tends to be like my social media and my marketing. And so in my all your designs is literally, I'm gonna whiz through all of these, so many different designs that I have created over the years. And even inside all of these, I'm also, so for example here, I've got 30 art printables that I created on Canva that I then went on to sell um, and they have my own graphic design elements and things that I've created or graphics that I've purchased that have a commercial license to them so I can use them. Um, I also have just so many different things. These, for example, are like my YouTube videos when I was experimenting with different types of YouTube video covers. I've got so many of those as well, like your thumbnails. Um, also for, I create the front covers for different modules that I have in my courses. Um, also promotional materials. There's just so many different things that I have played with and created and all sorts over time. As you keep creating designs in Canva, they'll just get saved on here so that you have really easy access to get back to them. Another awesome feature that Canva has is that if you wanted to, you can literally create your own custom dimensions. So alongside all of the kind of suggestions for some so alongside all of the awesome templates like the Instagram templates and the logos and posters, if you wanted to, if you had really specific dimensions of something, for example, if you're creating a website and you really wanted to have an image that was the right size to fit into a space, or you wanted to create a graphic that was the right size, then you could use simply use the customs dimensions and you can literally just type in the dimensions you want. I started using Canva really early on when it came to me starting my online businesses and learning how to create digital products and create my marketing material. So I was completely new to it. I'd never really used my computer for any type of graphic design before. And for me, I just personally found that I gravitated to Canva because I just found it so user-friendly, so engaging. Um, and I do find there are some other graphic design softwares that are, again, absolutely brilliant, but just not as intuitive and easy to understand. And they just take a little bit more time. Again, it's completely your choice. It's whatever resonates with you, but Canva was just the one that resonated with me. So I thought I'd wanna share that with you. I just wanna go back now and just kind of give you an idea of how easy it is to create something on Canva. So for example, if I wanted to create an Instagram post, I could just click on the little template. It will literally take me to this section here, which is like your design section or your fun section. And you can, and I do know quite a few, for example, students of my art printables on Etsy course who do use Canva as well. And we have a private Facebook group on the course. And um, so we're always sharing and talking about what we're doing and what different things we're creating. And I know that so many of them use Canva and you can just get so lost in the fun and just the, creativity of using Canva. You can scroll down here and you've just got so many different posts. For example, if I wanted to create an Instagram post about love, I could just click and I could just scroll down and it would just give me some templates I can use. If I scroll down, I could either choose to use something like this and I could just change the wording. I could change, if I want to change the shape of that, I could change, you know, every element really that comes into this template. I could literally go around and change all the color schemes that I want. So if I wanted this to be more autumnal or something like that, I could literally just, you know, look at changing the purple out of it. Just so many different things that you can do, different things you can play around with. And it's so interesting to see how quickly, you know, 
your design starts to change as you start to play with it. And um, again, you can go in, you can completely change the words that you want to use. You can do whatever you want. But what you could also do, for example, I just click on add a page, is you could just start with a completely clear white background. And something that I really love about Canva is if you click on uploads, sorry if I've got any embarrassing uploads here, but you can literally just come in here and upload all of your images, all your graphics, screenshots, whatever it is that you want. And you can just you know, create your design completely from scratch. I'll just quickly give you an example of that. So if I go into my finder, this is another graphic that I created on Canva and then I saved to use in my Instagram stories. But say for example, if I want to upload this saved, you know, a PNG file and I wanted to just upload that onto my Canva, then I can literally drag and drop it and that will start to upload. Then I can use this graphic on any in any way that I want to use it um, on any template that there is on Canva or if I want to, like I said here, just start off with a clean template. There are so many other things that you can do on Canva. You could, for example, just duplicate your image, you can crop your image, you can flip it, you can adjust things like the brightness, contrast, you've got filters, effects, there's so many different things that you can do. Canva is a really, you know, it's grown over the last couple of years since I've been using it to become a really, you know, good platform. You can also create videos and things on it as well. I would just, have to, so you can also, so, um, you can also upload videos as well if you want to um, it's just it's just grown so much and I just wanted to kind of firstly kind of give it some props for the fact that I use it so much and um, with my own businesses and creating my own digital products and my own content but also I just kind of wanted to introduce you guys to it if it's a program that you have never even thought about using before but you want to find an easy you know user-friendly platform to help you create digital products or to build your online business. I have, like I said, used Canva to create planners. I've used Canva to create art printables, ebook covers, and um, social media posts, Instagram posts, and um, to create the graphics for my website, create my thumbnails, my YouTube channel, literally anything that you see that is a graphic when it comes to my business is most likely created using Canva. So I'm not going to go massively into kind of showing you every single element that there is with Canva, but if you are interested, I can definitely create some more videos around certain things that I use Canva for. So if you want me to show you how I create certain digital products or how I create certain graphics for my social media or for my blog or things like that, definitely feel free to leave me a comment below. And of course, feel free to head down to the description box below and click the link and check out Canva for yourself and they do have the Try Canva Pro for 30 days and um, like I said I've used Canva Pro for a couple of years I just it's invaluable to me and my businesses and it makes a huge difference to the amount of money I've been able to make with my businesses absolutely huge I just wanted to show you guys this website um, if you are looking to create your own graphics so I hope you enjoyed this video definitely feel, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want so many more videos around creating digital products and online businesses and everything that we talk about on here and i will see you in the next video guys bye